Hi, welcome to Hogohost. In this video, I will show you how to install a script using the Softaculous app installer. Softaculous is a great addition to cPanel for all our Shared Hosting account users. It allows users to install the great open source software in just a few clicks. In this example, we will install WordPress which is a popular blogging application. You can however choose from several scripts to install using Softaculous. To get started, first you log into your client account or access your cPanel and navigate to the hosting account you wish to install the script on. Then locate the one click cPanel login. You don't necessarily need to log into your client area to access your cPanel. You can simply use the URL your domain forward slash cPanel to access your cPanel. The login credentials to your cPanel will be provided to you in an email titled hosting details for your domain name upon activation of this account. You can use that to log into your cPanel. Once you logged into cPanel, you navigate to the Softaculous app installer, which usually is at the bottom of the cPanel. Click the Softaculous app installer. Once the Softaculous panel opens, on the left side you would find different categories. Every category includes many scripts. The WordPress application is the first category under blogs. To see all applications in a category, click the little grey arrow which is next to the category. The category will expand displaying the available apps. To install WordPress, click the name of the application. Once you have clicked WordPress, it opens up the detail page. Next, you click install. By default, WordPress installs in a subdirectory, which is the in directory. If you desire to install WordPress in your root directory, you get rid of the subdirectory and choose the domain you want to install WordPress on. Where you have more than one domain, select the domain you want WordPress installed on. Then give it a name as well as a description. We strongly, we strongly advise you change the admin username and admin password to something more secure. But because this is for demonstration purpose, I would leave it as is. Next, click install. Give it a few moments and WordPress will be installed on your domain. Alright, we have successfully installed WordPress on, on our domain. Alright, we have successfully installed WordPress on our domain. To access your WordPress, you can either click this link, which will lead you to the front end of your WordPress, or to log into your WordPress dashboard, click the administrative URL. This is my fresh installation of WordPress, and my dashboard is also loaded up for me to customize as I please. Thank you for watching this video.